Hey guys, it is Arika Mish, and today we will be meal prepping. <clears throat> All right, and today, as you guys can see, let me see, I have <clears throat> some boneless ribs, boneless pork ribs. Yep, that's what they looking like. That's what they looking like. Yep, got them all nice and cleaned up, and they ready to be meal prep. So, all right guys, remember what I said? Season your food how you wanna season your food because you pay for your food. That's your business, how you season your food. I'm just showing y'all how I season my food. All right, and for those of you who like measurements, cause y'all already know I just do what I do. Um, as far as your seasonings, uh, I'd say about maybe two or three tablespoons each. Okay. Let's move on. All right, so y'all know I got my bowl that I'm always using my meal prep for with my meats. And I got my other bowl over here, which is where we're gonna um, put our meat once we get it all situated. All right, I got my seasons all nicely lined up over here. So let's get into it. Everything's all nice and cleaned. I'm taking um, the meat, showing you guys, just taking it, and I'm just gonna cut it into cubes. Got my knife all sharp, just gonna cut it into little fat cubes like that. Easy peasy. I mean, of course I can keep them the size that they are. You know, I've cooked them that way too. I don't know if I did that for the channel or not, but um, I've never done it this way before. Like, nicely cubed up. You guys can see nice little cubes. Drop it in my bowl over there. Yep, we're gonna cut these all up. We're gonna get them seasoned up. And of course, y'all gotta come back and see what I'm cooking. I'm not telling y'all, y'all gotta come back and see what I cooked. This is the <clears throat> pork shoulder boneless ribs. Basically, that's what it is. The label said, it's just boneless ribs, that's all. I mean, don't get it, don't get it wrong. We we like the bone ribs. Don't get it, you know. But <clears throat> today I'm doing the boneless ribs. And you know what? <clears throat> you can cut this any kind of way you want. You know, you can do it thinner than this. You know, however you want to do it. But sometimes I cut it thinner. But today I want to do the nice little thick chunks. <clears throat> I don't know if my bowl is going to be big enough to hold all this meat. So. I think I might have to get a bigger bowl. The way it's looking, yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to get a bigger bowl because this little bowl is not gonna work for all this meat, especially with me cutting it up. All right. Let me bring this over so y'all can see better. Let me move this oil out the way. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> I'm gonna scoot over a little bit. So y'all can see the meat, yep. Yeah, I definitely think I'm gonna have to get a bigger bowl to put my meat in. But um, yeah, hopefully you guys um, have watched my other meal prep videos. I will make sure I leave at the end of this video, I will make sure I leave the um, link to the other meal prep videos um, so you guys can see those. I like doing the uh, meal prep videos. I mean, I've gotta prep the meal anyway, so might as well record it. Everything is content, remember that. Everything is content. Content, 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 you know? This is a little wider, so I'ma cut this. But, um, <clears throat> yeah guys, before I forget to tell you, don't forget to go in the description box, uh, click on that link to my second channel. That is my spiritual journey channel over there. Make sure you guys go over there and show me some love and support. Click on that link. It'll take you over to my second channel so you can join my spiritual journey over there. I'm telling y'all over there, y'all, I'm spilling the tea. I'm telling it all over there. So, 
if you're into that I'm talking about spiritual you know God spiritual journey yeah that's what's over there that's my that's my hallelujah channel over there so over here is hallelujah too don't get me wrong but I'm cooking over here um, doing DIYs I'm doing uh, family vlogs online shopping over here Amazon unboxing makeup tutorials makeup unboxing nails I'm telling you I'm doing all kind of stuff over here hair all kind of stuff so make sure you guys like comment share and subscribe to the channel I have two channels it is a lot of work to do two channels and I upload to both channels every day so imagine that and I'm also a mother of three kids so imagine that yep I'm definitely gonna have to get a bigger bowl y'all hold on one second let me wash my hands so I can get this bigger bowl so that little bowl is not gonna work it is not gonna work Get this bowl down. We definitely need a bigger bowl. This bowl washed. Y'all hold on over there. I don't know why I got that little bowl anyway. Thinking it was not. Thinking it was gonna hold all this meat. It is not. So let me move this. I've oh got that over there. Move this out of the way. Okay. All right, y'all. Okay. All right. Let's get back to cutting this meat. So, just cutting it up, y'all, into little fat cubes. And um, I removed all the fat that I want to remove. I do like keeping some of the fat on my meat. I don't want to remove all the fat because, hello. That's what helps your meat be all juicy and taste good, duh. So, yeah, I'm almost finished y'all. I will show y'all how I'm gonna get this seasoned up. Nicely seasoned up here. Gotta cut this a little smaller cause it's thick. I'm gonna leave that yeah but I like cutting it this way it's easier to eat so I almost told y'all what I was gonna cook what I was gonna be cooking but oh yeah and this meat will be um, marinating in the refrigerator uh, for a day I'll be cooking this tomorrow um, I usually like to let my meat marinate for two days uh, I wouldn't dare do any longer than that with no raw meat, so. Two days is the most I'm going to do with my uh, meat. So, two days is the most. So, I like letting the seasons sink in and sink into my meat. Now, I usually take my fork. Y'all know if y'all been watching my meal prep videos, I usually take my fork and just kind of stab my meat, you know, kind of tenderize it. But um, with this pork, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that with this pork. This, this pork is already just too tender to the touch. So, all right, I'm on the last one. Let me move this out of the way. All right last one we'll go ahead and get this seasoned up show y'all how I'm gonna season it up but yeah one thing about pork you know pork is all nice and juicy all by itself you ain't got to do too much to pork so all right good we got everything all cut up let me move this cutting board out of the way y'all hold on Nice cleaned up and put away. I do not like knives laying around. 
you know, especially with kids, you know, with the girls. I mean, they not little kids, but still. All right, so let me make sure y'all can see. Yep, y'all can see my meat all nicely cubed up. All right, I've got my Crisco Pure Canola Oil. I'm just gonna take a little bit of oil. Enough for all of the meat. <laughs> Don't wanna do too much, we ain't frying in that. So, all right. Go ahead and mix that up. Make sure everybody gets some oil. Cause when I get that season to put on here, that season's gonna, uh, the oil's gonna help the season stick. So, get this all mixed up. Make sure everybody coat it. And you know what? This oil is also gonna help our meat cook. So, another reason why I add a little oil, just, just enough to get everybody coated, that's all. Not too much oil, but just enough. Everybody get coated, all right? Looking good. Make sure y'all can see. I thought y'all could see. Hold on, y'all. Okay. All right. All right. Yep. Everybody all nicely seasoned up. I'm going to zoom y'all in. Let me wash my hands. And then I'll get y'all zoomed in so y'all can see a little better. All right. It is hot here in sunny Florida. Woo I could not deal with no snow. Born and raised in Florida. It's hot here, y'all. So that's what I'm used to. Snow, it's a no for me. It's a, it's a no. Mm -mm, mm -mm. All right, so. All right, I'm gonna be using the McCormick minced onion. You know, I'm taking my top off. It's a lot of meat, so let me zoom y'all in. Hold on. Let me zoom y'all in. Y'all seem far away. Hold on. Let me zoom y'all in. Zoom you out a little bit. Okay. Perfect. All right. Perfect. All right. Good. So, got our mixed onions. We've got our Morton season all. Like I said, season your food how you want to season your food. And because I use so many seasons, you know, you got to be careful. You know, you don't want to do too much. So, we got that old bae. Y'all know what I say about that old bae. He an old bae. Don't nobody want him no more, child. He an old bae. <laughs> yep, we're going to throw a little old bae across there. I know people usually use this uh, to season seafood. But I use old bae for my meats. It's a season. Duh. All right. Got some regular salt. Um, this is a, a old container. I just uh, use it for my salt, and I just kind of like you know label it. Little bootleg thing I did. Just a little bootleg thing. All right. And of course we gotta have the great Tabitha, Tabitha Brown here. Very good garlic, all-purpose season. It's got garlic, black pepper, and lemon in it. That is Miss Tabitha Brown. It's definitely good for pork so let me sprinkle some of that in there okay all right and we got the slap yo mama gotta have a slap yo mama you're gonna sprinkle some of that in there and see like I said because you know I'm using uh, quite a bit of different seasons um, I got to be careful about how much season I'm adding all right and we have the McCormick garlic powder All right, and last we have black pepper, ground black pepper. All right, get that in there real good. All right, okay, perfect. Now, y'all see, everything's nicely seasoned. I'm just gonna mix it up, put it in my Tupperware here, put my lid on, and it will be marinating overnight. Because what time is it? It's afternoon, late afternoon here. So this is going to marinate overnight. So let's get everything all mixed up. 
take your time get everything all mixed up real good and like I said that oil will help your season stick to your meat I just kind of do one side at a time and then I just kind of bring the front over to the back like that so everybody get all nicely seasoned and coated make sure I get that bottom meat oh y'all don't look so good Oh, delicious. Oh, it smells so good. I'm ready to eat right now. Y'all know I stay ready. Woo. Mm, 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 mm. Delicious. Okay. Make sure I get that bottom meat. Oh, yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Yes. Mm. Alright. You know, it takes a minute because you want to make sure everybody getting getting some season. So take a little minute to get it all mixed up. This is a lot of meat, so mix it up. Mix it up real good. Ooh. That meat it's a little cold. Alright, so okay. Everybody all seasoned up. Alright. So we'll get it over here in our Tupperware. over here in our Tupperware. Let me move these seasons out the way so y'all can see. Getting it in the Tupperware here, out our bowl. Mm-hmm. All right, let me move this bowl out the way. All right. Okay, perfect. All right, so got our meat all down in there. Let's get it all packed in. Pack it in, pack it in, girl. Pack it in. All right. And that is our boneless ribs. Meal prep. Quick and easy. Let me get my hands washed. All the season from under my nails. Go gross. But yeah, y'all, make sure y'all go in that description box. Click on that link to my second channel over there. That is, um, let me zoom y'all out. Hold on a second. Zoom y'all. Well, well, I guess I'll take y'all in so y'all can see. Yep, doesn't that look delicious, y'all? Ready. So, alright y'all, that's our meal prep for today. Make sure you come back, check out what I'm cooking. Come back and see what I cook with this. Watch the meal prep. You might as well watch, watch what I'm going to be cooking. So, all right, guys. This is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Follow me on all my social media. At Arika Misha, guys. Thanks.